the Alpine Rhine, the section of the Rhine from Riga now in the Swiss canton of Graubunden to the confluence with Lake Constance. Due to the high damage potential in the event of a possible flood of the century, the maximum flow rate in this section is to be expanded from 3,100 cubic meters per second to 4,300 cubic meters per second. Therefore, the 255 meters long Rhine bridge between Hard and Fussach has to be adapted to ensure the primary framework conditions for flood protection. In addition, the standard cross-section of the structure no longer meets today's traffic engineering requirements. Preliminary work will start as planned at the end of June 2020 with the construction of the site installation area and the setting up of the construction site. From mid-September 2020, work on the substructure of the bridge will be carried out at full speed in the foreland of the Rhine. The construction of the abutments, piers and auxiliary piers in the area at risk from the Rhine was scheduled for the winter half year and thus during periods of low water discharge. The construction sequence of this construction phase is based on the planned direction of insertion of the steel structure, which was subsequently pushed in from Fusach in the direction of hard using the incremental launching method. Therefore, construction of the abutment will start on the Fusach side. The work will then be continued on the adjacent piers. Work will start with securing the excavation pit. The excavation support consists of individual steel profiles, called sheet piles, which are driven into the ground. Heavy construction equipment with a special guide system is used for this purpose. All loads on the pier structures are transferred into the ground by means of ductile small driven piles. A hydraulic excavator with an attached impact hammer is used to sink the piles. A driving shoe is installed at the base of the first pipe and then one pipe after the other is placed during the installation process. To increase the load bearing capacity, the pile casing is grouted to the surrounding ground during the sinking operation. For this purpose, cement slurry is pumped in the pile, which exits via openings on the driving shoe and is guided upwards along the pile casing. Reinforcing bars are installed to support tensile loads. The extremely unfavorable subsoil, consisting of mushy to soft lake clay deposits, and the fact that construction was carried out in unfavorable weather conditions presented the contractors with special challenges. The first abutment could already be completed at the end of November 2020. At the beginning of December, the upstream auxiliary pier 3 will still be erected, so that the prerequisite for the start of the insertion of the superstructure cross-section is given. Reinforcement of the piers at Axis 4 will start in mid-November 2020. By using a formwork prefabricated in the factory, the construction work can be accelerated on site so that the first pier can already be concreted at the end of November 2020. In the area of the middle channel of the Rhine, additional shoring is required. Therefore, in the fall of 2020, one auxiliary pier each will be erected directly in the main channel of the Rhine. During these works in the middle channel of the Rhine and thus in the danger area of the Rhine, several difficulties have to be mastered.
In the winter half year 2020 2021, 20,000 cubic meters of excavated soil will be removed, 10,000 square meters of sheet piles will be installed, 30 kilometers of driven piles will be sunk, 400 tons of reinforcing steel will be installed, and 6,000 cubic meters of concrete will be placed. With the completion of the last pier on the harder side at the beginning of April 2021 and final recultivation work in the Rhine Foreland, this time critical construction phase will be successfully completed as planned at the end of April 2021. The goals set, such as the production of the construction work in the required quality, the ambitious construction schedule, as well as the difficult circumstances, such as the unfavorable subsoil properties and working in the hazardous area of the Rhine, presented particular challenges for the construction work. All those involved were therefore required to master these challenges with professional work preparation and a high level of commitment.